A very good evening to you all. Thank you for watching UBC Television this 20th day of August 2022. With me, Wadulo Mark Ano. This is your news tonight with Mohamed Bugalu on sign language. And without further ado, these are the news. This is the news in detail. The Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, has asked Muslim leaders to support the parish development model to improve on household incomes of the people. The Prime Minister was presiding over the official launch of Imam Sako at Kawempe Mbogo High School in Kampala. Premier Robin Anabanja says government initiated the parish development model to address the 39% Ugandans outside the money economy. Government Tadeko Enkola ya Paris Movement Mode. Abasira ba Imam Mujijumbire kubanga eja kuja wobadde ekuteke kawala. The Prime Minister was officiating the launch of the Imam's Sako at Kawempe Mbogo High in Kampala. She supported the Imam's Sako with 10 million shillings and promised to continue collaborating with the Muslim leaders to improve their living standards. Mwemba denzija mwanga mendo chinga sako nina akatono kenyina Kankarit. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Musa wa muno muri mumilioni 10. Teka kama sabar la ilaha illa Allah Allah Akbar. Allah. Nabanja assured Muslim leaders that all presidential pledges made shall be fulfilled. Isonga muzogedde President Yajawano, Nava Suviza, meeting Jemaina Naye, Mukumi Bidi Kuminagum, the Asuviza Nebita to Kirida Zenjakova Suviza to the Jakutu Kirida Kuru. Allah Akbar. The patron of Imams in Kampala Haj Karim Karisa lauded President Chowarim Seveni for empowering women socially, economically, and politically. Na agenda mu LOC wana gamu tekewe ntebe yawe Na agenda ku district na agama ntia haa Na umu chara abiruko ku district Na agenda nga situlo mutindo kwa haba chara Na agu situla kakatuwe tuogelira Saba minister wa Uganda Yono mkandu wa fatu doa no maso Ensonge yo chikura gira dalante Bintuwe tumikuwa tempora empora Kakati tukakasa Insha Allah wana vira wano Unafe tuli mwavo abasobo doku wanti the training was held under the theme Capacity Building for Imams, Business Training and Poverty Alleviation. In other news, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, has met with the Chabazing of Busoga, William Nadiope Gabula IV, at her residence in Budiope, Buyende district, Budiope East lawmaker, engineer Moses Magogo, Commissioner of Parliament, Solomon Silwani, Buzaya MP, Martin Muzale, and Buyende woman MP, Nakato Mary Annette, attended this meeting. The two leaders discussed how they can work together to transform the economic standing of Busoga and ensure unity among others. Number six, eh? Big parliament exclusive. Number six. To the executive in reference meant to guide policies governing the country but there has been a continuous public outcry that some recommendations hit a dead end which negates efforts of legislators let's have a look at a detailed report about this parliament recently considered a report of the sectorial committee on human rights presented by chairperson fox odoi the Human Rights Committee was tasked to investigate the status of human rights in Uganda from the period of January 2020 to June 2022. 
Among the tasks on the menu was to ascertain why a section of royal guards of the Omusinga have continued to be on remand in prison. The government must at all times be in a position to account for every single citizen and every single alien in our jurisdiction. Parliament, chaired by Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayewa, considered the report which condemned the continuous actions of incarcerating suspects for a period against the Constitution of Uganda. So we take the position that you are incarcerating an innocent person because that's what the Constitution says. The report also pins both private and public players engaging in torturing suspects and also behind disappearances of some people. MP Fox Odoi asserts in his report that torture is an impunity which must be dealt with. There is sufficient legal regime to deal with uh, torture and the committee holds the firm view that torture must be a thing of the past. We actually recommended that the DPP should not sanction any charge of a person who has been tortured. The Human Rights Report is among dozens of recommendations considered by Parliament to the executive but similar challenges have continued to surface which in turn puts the August House in an awkward situation. Therefore, I want to urge members of Parliament that whenever we pass resolutions, actually they should be compiled into like a booklet such that we keep checks and balances, because that is the work of Parliament. You keep checks and balances of how the executive is implementing most of these things. But how best can this situation be reversed? Um, we are monitoring closely, and I want to appeal to all committees that present their reports on the floor to ensure that they actually follow up when the timelines expire. Currently, the investigations by Parliament Committee on Commissions, statutory authorities and state enterprise on the management of Uganda Airlines has attracted attention of both the media and general public with preliminary findings exposing the status of recruitment and staff salary structure at the national carrier. Even before the COSASA report is finalized, a section of the public deems the efforts of the committee fruitless. But I want to assure the general public that if we had kept quiet and nothing was done, you can imagine uh, how it was going to be. The Minister for Works and Transport, General Katumba Wamala, has pronounced himself on the ongoing controversial job bonanza at Uganda Airlines, describing the process as an action aimed at undermining efforts of reviving the national career. In a video recording, General Katumba asserts that castigating individuals at Uganda Airlines affects the far-reaching impact of the national career. Do you think there are no problems in other countries with other airlines? Why are they collapsing? Are there no airlines which have collapsed? Why don't they make the, the headlines on the media? Why should Uganda Airlines be the ones every day, every other day? You know, if a mistake is made, then it is a... We brought it out of proportion. I think Ugandans, we need to refocus our... General Katumba Wamala's reactions not only speak volumes in regards to the end result of the investigations, but also widens the fate of the inquiries at the national career. We killed our airlines long ago. We are just trying to survive, to bring it back. But we are spending more energies in trying to pull it down. What will be the benefit? It's my appeal, you the media people, that it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay to shoot ourselves in our own foot. This is what we are doing. But everything we do in Kosase is not to witch hunt anyone. Everything that we do is we, we look at the procedures, we look at policies, whether it has been implemented 100%. So some people, by the way, think that we are witch hunting. We are not witch hunting anyone. We are there to save the taxpayers money and trust me it's not going to just die silently the ball is still within the parliament's court to ensure that its mandate to play an oversight role is objective not compromised and for national good let them act on our recommendations this treasury memorandum that is laid before parliament is not just for play it is supposed to be acted upon daniel mugoya Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.
In other news, Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, in conjunction with Participatory Ecological Land Use Management, has launched the sixth edition of the Land Awareness Week. The country director, Pelham, Josephine Akia Luyimbazi, says that this year's Awareness Week will be held in southwestern Uganda with emphasis on resettling the displaced Batwa community. A number of civil society organizations championed by participatory ecological land use management have rolled out the sixth edition of raising awareness about land rights in the country. While addressing journalists at their offices in Intinda, the country director, Pelam Josephine Akia Luyimbazi, disclosed that the exercise will run for one week, starting on 21st August 2022. Second to the 26th of September of, of um, August, um, as we commemorate our sixth annual Land Awareness Week. The concept of the Land Awareness Week uh, was started in collaboration with the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development and civil society organizations that were working towards the advancement of land rights in Uganda. And this uh, was taken lead by Pelham Uganda, but in partnership with other civil society organizations, which included um, SF, Food Rights Alliance, LandNet, Action Aid, Trocare, and also other uh, partners that we haven't mentioned. The Batwa are an indigenous community in the southwestern part of Uganda and are the target beneficiaries of this exercise. As we move to southwestern Uganda, there is a very big challenge, as you mentioned, of the Batwa, an indigenous community, which for years have remained landless, helpless, and without any person moving in to assist them to secure their land rights. Now, we also want to concentrate on this area like we concentrated on other areas like uh, Karamoja, like we have also done for the Benet and uh, other regions to make sure that we at least recognize the Batwa as citizens of Uganda who can enjoy their land rights like any other citizen. Findings indicate that ignorance about land rights and laws is a major factor affecting access to justice, especially to women. The Land Awareness Week always um, driving through uh, community dialogues, uh, but also within those uh, community dialogues, that's where we have our sensitization. But most importantly, we do what we call the legal aid clinics, and uh, during these uh, legal aid clinics, uh, alongside uh, the dialogues, people come and uh, uh, talk to different legal aid personnel or uh, persons on different uh, issues, challenges, but also kind of guidance they want to uh, pick information from. Mary Namkose, UBC News. Furthermore, the Minister for Lands, Judith Nabakova, has handed over 1,500 freehold land titles under the systematic land adjudication and certification to beneficiaries from the Greater Ankole District at an event held at Mbarara Land Zonal Offices in Mbarara City. Now, the first batch has catered for beneficiaries from the districts of Chiruhura, Ibanda, Rampara, and Mbarara City. <laughs> With support from the World Bank Government of Uganda through the Ministry of Lands, continue securing and issuing freehold land titles under the Systematic Land Adjudication and Certification Program, SILAC. From Barra Zono setting, 1,500 freehold land titles have been processed and this Saturday morning handed over to the beneficiaries. <laughs> His Excellency. We thank the President and the Government of Uganda that thought about this particular program to benefit our people. President Wetu, you welcome Hamwe na World Bank. This has been at an event presided over by the Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Navakoba in Imbara City. The current NRM manifesto clearly pledges to register land and issue people with titles. It is only through 
such actions that government and citizens can conquer hunger and food insecurity. Land title certificate beneficiaries were sampled from the districts of Kiruhura, Ibanda, Rampara and Imbara City. <laughs> Tana kamate ani ma kurugabe harugwe kanyara na si mama nonga mchara na bakubwa na kabineti ye abu kuteleza ebya pa bia busha. Bata hani bebuza ngusha wenyi governmenti ya movementi e mazire jimia kayo na e targa ho e yekarwa re chapa mama mangu na ibo bururu a mangu na mbwe nu no tunge chapa chapa busha au achikwa no bora kumtera karuru bure bakurujiri. And the evidence is there that where people have been given freehold titles, there is undisputed development and transformation. However, beneficiaries are being cautioned against economy. It is risky, it's problematic. It's my fear that by tomorrow, these free freehold titles could be in the hands of money lenders just tomorrow. And in doing that, they have handed over everything to them. I urge you to use your titles to generate more wealth. Now this is safe from disputes. Do not sell your land. The regional members of parliament, however, urge that time has come for government to own up this initiative. How I wish, Minister, this will be enrolled to other districts. I know it is very expensive. Very, very expensive. We cannot manage it at once. The meaning of a project is that it has a lifespan. My prayer, and on behalf of all these people and others who haven't come, is that the government takes it up. Now that it has been proved it works, government takes it up. And parliament is ready that I, with my colleagues here, we shall appropriate money to make sure every each Ugandan gets a freehold title. The Renduru land conflict, which the minister has in the past attended to, resurfaced with the RSS in Barra City, vowing to arrest those causing unrest in the area. We are going to arrest him, I can assure you. Why yeah, don't you beseech love? The man is, a, I don't know, a deserter. I've been here for three years. That man has been on the ground for three years. When does he work? So, Honorable Minister, I ask you kindly, as you reach Kampala, send a surveyor to open the boundaries of the land that was bought by government. We have agreed that next week they have to assemble a team to come and open boundaries. After that exercise, then we shall know what to do next. For the past five years, thousands of Ugandans have been receiving freehold land titles under the SLAC initiative. Robert Nyongo, UBC News. Congratulations to those freehold land title handlers. Let's now take a short commercial break and we'll be back with business. Fimba! Ni MTN Kabode Super as you pay Mpola Mpola for this smartphone. Make calls, update your WhatsApp status, watch YouTube, and Google anything under the sun with 2 GB worth of data every month for 7 months. Simply make a small deposit of 99k and pay the balance Mpola Mpola. You can pay in daily, weekly, or even monthly installments while you enjoy your new phone. So what are you doing today? Visit any MTN shop near you and get the MTN Kabode Super Easy Easy. Children are a special gift, one we must protect and nurture with care. Ensuring your child has a birth certificate opens doors for them that would otherwise be hard to access, such as immunization, school admission, or simply proving their age and belonging. Let us do our duty as parents and guardians by registering our children and getting them birth certificates. For more information, visit the NERA office closest to you or call the toll-free number. 0800-211-700 This message is brought to you by NIRA. 
Uganda Land Owners Association welcomes you to the Land Use Exhibition, the first of its kind in Uganda. Do you want to learn how to use and earn from your land or you need information on how to manage your land? Come and be part of this exhibition which will start from the 31st of August to the 1st of September at Umasho Grounds Nakawa Multipurpose Hall. Don't miss a session which will tackle land matters in both discussions at only 5,000 shillings. Small and large scale business owners, you're invited to showcase your commodities. To be part of this exhibition, call 0701-111-401 or 0772-446-507. The Land Use Exhibition is organized by the Uganda Land Owners Association, sponsored by Uganda Broadcasting Corporation, UBC. Enjoy more GBs for the same price on Airtel. Shareable using to Gabonet. We have increased GBs across all your favorite parks. Now, 4 GB is at 10,000 shillings and 10.5 GB at 22,500 shillings, all valid for a week. For the heavy data users, enjoy 24 GB at 50,000 shillings and 50 GB at 100,000 shillings, all valid for a month. Dial star 175 hash or use the My Airtel app to buy these and more affordable weekly and monthly data bundles on Airtel, the smartphone network. Oh, uh, Susan, I want to propose to Rose. Eh? Yes, and this time, I am serious. Have you guys had sex? Duh. Of course. And have you had sex without using condoms? Hey, <laughs> guy, you're curious. I'm more concerned. Are you having sex with other people? Hey, hello. Uh, is this an interview or what? No, just things you should think about. Uh, do you know Rose's HIV status? Okay, uh, this is serious. Should I be worried? It is actually serious. Do you know your HIV status? Mm, uh, I think I am safe. <clears throat> <clears throat> Many times we get into situations that put us at risk of HIV. However, the first step to ending HIV is getting tested and knowing your results. It's time up HIV. Call 0800-211-046 or text 8080 toll free for more information about how to prevent HIV. This message is brought to you by Ministry of Health with support from USAID. Meet Professor Petero. He knows something every hustler in UG is gonna love. Oh, see. You say I was just trying to uh, get the documents to register for Airtel Management. You don't need the documents. You just said it for register. What's going on here? He sells things from the shop and behind my back, he gets the money and gives it to his Google friends. <laughs> but just get out of money pay so that all money comes direct to your business wallet and only you, the owner, have access to it. Just now, star 185, start 10, start 10, hush, and now you are on. No waiting. <laughs> huh? This insanity is sweet. Give them also. I only take Airtel Money Pay. It's easy and secure. Yes, become a safer and more efficient cash free business today. Easy. No mixing your business money with your Kameza money. No, that's efficient. Airtel Money. Instant, secure, borderless. Forget last season. Forget the oohs and the ohs. Forget every moment that stole the show. Because the real show is here on Go TV. It's the new season. It's action packed. And it's going to be non stop football. With over 1,000 games from more than seven leagues and cup competitions plus a World Cup. Make sure you get the best seat in the house this new football season. Get a GoCoder with one month of Go TV value for only 25,000 Uganda shillings and enjoy. Non stop football. Go TV Uganda. Love it. Fumbi Sayaka. Fumbi Sayaka. Cooking with electricity is now affordable. Fumbi Sayaka. Cook your beans. Fumbi Sayaka. Ah, avoid smoke. Fumbi Sayaka. Fumbi Sayaka. Cooking with electricity is now so affordable with the Fumba Tariff set by the Electricity Regulatory Authority. With the Fumba Tariff, you can now buy up to 70 units of your car at a reduced price of 412 Uganda shillings by unit after consuming your first 80 units of the month. For more information, contact the Electricity Regulatory Authority on 0200-506-000. Welcome back. You're still watching the UBC News tonight, broadcasting live from Nile Avenue and online on YouTube under the name tag UBC TV Uganda. Now we take you to the world of business. Farmers in Ranya Mahembe 
in uh, Kashiri Barara district are calling upon government to invest in savings and credit cooperative societies for financial inclusion at all levels of the population. These say that they enable quick access to low interest loans as these details share with us. Our district are asking for government for a special offer to enable them access low interest loans in savings and credit cooperative societies. We had tried for the government to put in money in circles instead of those uh, and uh, other big banks because these circles are near the farmers and really agriculture is the spinal cord of the economy of Uganda. So agriculture is not in town, agriculture is not in, in Bugorovi, it is in Rwanyamahebe, it is in Suku, it is in where? It is in the rural areas. So that money should be put in, in banks, in circles. And they put there the grace period for the farmers. Because the farmers are not like these producers or, or what? These shopkeepers. Farmers say the current trend at many saving and credit cooperative societies doesn't favor agriculture, which at times takes long to yield profits, yet the grace period at many circles is time-bound. We request our government, and uh, really we thank it because it has been giving us money. But we request for more money and at least less interest, because the interest has been high and even the period of paying these loans, uh, there is why uh, insist on 24 months, but if it could be like 36 months, three years, so that at least we can get some time also to, to work and get in and uh, benefit. But when it's a short time, when it's a short period, you, sometimes you fail to pay in time, and this brings um, uh, misunderstandings with the, with the bank. This business of long getting a loan on a short term is a bit discouraging. We are grateful to the government for the assistance they give to circles especially to encourage us to, to grow as farmers, to grow uh, bigger. Mm. But uh, if the government can uh, extend the loans to four, five, six years, for a farmer, I think we, we can benefit more. The farmers, however, appreciated the role played by the Microfinance Support Center and appealed for the establishment of many more circles at rural level. Uh, the government can assist us and give us loans with long repayment periods and even a, a long tenure, long tenure, and even they can offer loans to us. Uh, at a reduced interest rate and even give us also grace period because we access loans from the OSC and uh, a grace period of three months only. Mariona Wari, UBC News. Hey, want to race? Enjoy more GBs for the same price on Airtel. Shareable using to Gabonet. We have increased GBs across all your favorite parks. Now, 4 GB is at 10,000 shillings and 10.5 GB at 22,500 shillings, all valid for a week. For the heavy data users, enjoy 24 GB at 50,000 shillings and 50 GB at 100,000 shillings, all valid for a month. Dial star 175 hash or use the My Airtel app to buy these and more affordable weekly and monthly data bundles on Airtel, the smartphone network. Welcome back and now in the world of sports, the inaugural 
Tokyo International Conference on African Development TCAD Cup 2022 has started at the FUFA Technical Center in Njeru Buyikwe District. It is a six-team tournament for women football clubs in Uganda. <laughs> The inaugural 2022 Ticket Cup has officially started at the FUFA Technical Center in Injeru. The Ticket Cup is an initiative birthed from the Tokyo International Conference on African Development that, among others, addresses the refugee status on the African continent. In one week later, uh, Tunisia, they are going to host an ace ticket uh, conference, uh, head of state, also UN, World Bank, Government of Japan, they will gather together and they will discuss the development of Africa. So we'd like to also raise awareness on TICAT. Secondly, talent of Ugandan women's footballers. I'd like to introduce them to Japan. In this time, we got a, a donation from a Japanese women's football league, professional football league, and they are also curious about Ugandan talent. So through this kind of uh, opportunity, I'd like to uh, bring in future some of the Ugandan women's footballers to Japan. That is my second uh, dream and objective. In Uganda, it's a brainchild of the Japan International Cooperation Agency and involves uh, six girls' football teams, highlighted by one from Pagirinya, refugee settlement in Ajumani. It's about bringing people together, and we bring that all the people around this country and in the world has many, many difficulties. And as I mentioned in the speech, sport is something will bring people together. And that's why we have arranged this tournament. And it's called TICAT because TICAT is going to be held exactly one week later. Uganda State Minister for Sports, Peter Ogwang, embraced this idea that aims at empowering women and also working out a peaceful coexistence between refugees and the host community in Uganda. Once I have that discussion, we shall see how we like. They, I'm happy they committed themselves that they are going to work with us to see how they can support the refugees in terms of sports development. We will see what we can do to try to push them to get to Olympics. Right? Uganda is known because of our open door policy for hosting refugees in our country. So why shouldn't we be there? The most important thing is to get organized, and I'm happy we have started well at the right time. Other teams at the two-day tournament are Kawembe Muslim, Tabi High School, Rines High School, King of Kings, and Ginger Senior Secondary School. Yes, and that brings us to the end of our 8 o'clock edition of the news tonight. However, we'll be having a lengthier bulletin at 10 o'clock. My name is Wadulo Mark Arnold. Stay tuned for the weekly business roundup. So you are. The Tales of Kasozi brought to you by Uganda Communications Commission. Yes, hello? This is Kasozi. How can I help you? Calling you from the mobile service center. Uh huh, okay. So how can I help you? Well, we have noticed a few things wrong with your number and need your mobile money pin. Tonfera, never give out your password or pin to any caller. Your mobile service provider.